Okay, I have a question from Mr. Van der Velde because he was talking before about the commercial scene. Um, I was wondering, since right now they um, do a lot of typecasting, which is, well, going in a way that we all really do not like, um, in which way could Black Tree TV actually um, form a role or change that perception that people right now who are making commercials within the Netherlands or maybe even within Europe or the world, um, in what form could the common folk change the perception of the people towards something that's going to show more of the society and of real reality? Um, I think it's all about um, getting used to, um, to, to, to images and to stories and to, to pictures of, uh, of, of people uh, being together and, and, and pictures of a reflection of the, of the normal society. So the best thing, the best thing that could happen is that <coughs> And that uh, uh, we, we are getting uh, uh, used to, to images of a, a multicultural society. And I think if uh, Black Free TV uh, succeeds in showing uh, the, the, the benefits and, 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 <clears throat> and uh, the benefits of, of co cooperation and collaboration in, in visuals, that's, that's very, very helpful. So, um, it's all about we are, uh, uh, and, it, and we also had this discussion about the entertainment industry before, and the Will Smith and the Morgan Freeman. I think a lot has to do with uh, a society changes because suddenly there are role models or there are situations that stick in our um, uh, our, our minds of the society. So I think, uh, for example, like uh, soccer is uh, already done a lot for um, integrating uh, communities together. Uh, suddenly we have Moroccan uh, soccer players who play, who play in the national team. And suddenly it's like everybody shouting, yeah, score that goal off line. And you know, that helps to create bridges. And I think Black Tree could be, um, could be a bridge by showing whatever content they, they came up to, which, uh, makes it easy to enjoy, it makes it easy for other people to, to see our okay, it's, it's It's not a big deal, I mean, it's just a reflection of society, the, the multicultural issue. I've got a short throat, sorry. What can we do now? We can't do anything, we can't do anything. 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 We can't do Wat kan Peter? Right. <laughs> um, I think the main question is living in the world that we live in today, looking at colored people and black people and the way we interact with one another and the way that we are perceived. Basically, I think the bottom line is how can this conception, this view be changed? But I think looking from the black perspective, I think, and not necessarily from how we are perceived. Yes, you can. Yeah, I want to give you a more practical idea of how I, as a filmmaker, think you can make a difference. I don't know what you do, whether you want to make movies or you want to be an actor or whatever, but it's the same thing for everybody. When I'm, as a filmmaker, when I sit in an audition, for instance, what I do, this is how it works. I put out, because we work below the radar, we put out on NFTVM or someplace we put an ad to say we're casting for a movie, okay? What I do when, as a filmmaker when I go out there is I want to be inspired. I'm looking for inspiration just like everybody else. I'm looking for people who make me believe that what I'm going to do now is the same thing they believe in. So it doesn't matter what color you are, what, you know, when you pick, I'm really fed up with this black and white discussion in general, personally, because I come from South Africa and I'm fed up with the discussion. I think we have to create a culture of believers in ourselves and in, in, in our culture, you know? We have to create a culture that transcends all this black and white bullshit. We'll get there eventually, but it's going to take a while. But the point is, for you, you have to not... Another thing, a practical advice. You, you see an ad, ad for, a, for a casting, you go. If it's asked for 12 white people and you're a black guy, you just go. Fuck them, you know? You just go. You say, I'm also going to do this. You go and you impress. Because if you come into my audition room, and you impress me, I'm going to create a role for you. It's as simple as that. It may not be in the script, but if you, if you impress me, I'm going to create a role and you're going to be in my movie, end of story, you know? It's as simple as that. The same thing for me as a filmmaker. 
I didn't get to make movies because I, I was waiting for opportunities. I wrote screenplays. And I wrote 30 screenplays, feature films. Nobody paid me a cent for it. I just wrote the stuff. You know, and you just have to keep doing it. And you have to, you have to, if you want to make it in the world, you have to be everywhere at the same time. Okay, we, it's a physical impossibility, but you have to be in as many places as you can be at the same You don't have, you, you mustn't accept that anybody says it's got to be this or that. You go in there and you impress them. End of story. Yeah. And if you, Like John, myself, that's, we live off that. You know, we, we grow old, you know, we want to be inspired. We, we, you know, we, we can't keep on inspiring ourselves forever. We need you guys to come and inspire us. You know, so that's, how I, that's the only thing that keeps me going as a filmmaker, because it's fucking hard, you know. It's really, really difficult, even when you so-called made it, it's still difficult. Because he gets his screenplays turned down, I get my screenplays turned down by, you know, idiots. But we have to keep going because that's what we have to do. Because we want to make movies. And the same if you want to act. So if you want to see them. It's the same for everybody. You've just got to do it. If, you, if, if nobody will listen to you, then go do it on the street until somebody walks by and says, wow, you know, cool. Do you want to play in my movie? You've got to do it.